Hey guys, so um, this is a quick update since I haven't made a video in like a month. Um, as you can see, I'm on uh, Ubuntu Linux um, and I've been building the editor application uh, for the game engine. So, as previously before, it was just um, you would code in C to create, you know, games. Um, but now I'm working on a sort of graphical uh, interface for that so that you you can not have to um, use a compiled language and you can just use the scripting language so what I have so far looks like this um, it, it's in the early stages of development as you can see but what you can basically do is you could create a uh, a new project. So I'll just create you know example project. As you can see, it's created. And what it'll do is it'll create the example project directory, um, and then it'll create the bin textures audio and scripts folders. So the idea of how I was going to structure this would be. Um, all the content is going to be managed in its own in its own directories based on type so any texture files that are involved in creating sort of animations 2d animations um, etc will be in that textures folder including fonts um, all audio of course like aug files or wave files will be in audio um, and then all the Lewis script files will be placed in the scripts folder and that'll that'll have a bunch of um, nested subdirectories um, because that's how I'll organize the uh, collections. But for now, um, though though this directory structure is specific to the project, and a new one um, I'm thinking a new one will be created when you actually go to compile and build your game for release. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually compile all the resources that you have. Um, so your textures, your audio and scripts will be built into uh, basically zip files or tar files um, so that they're compressed, um, you know, so they take less less space on, on disk. So uh, basically, as you can see, this is the version 1.0 of the interface. Um, up here are some uh, buttons. So this is sort of the viewport um, where you'll actually design the game. Uh, these buttons just change the way things look inside. So saw, uh, wireframe will of course show everything without texture and just the line vertices. Uh, solid will display um, potentially 3D stuff. I mean this is more for 3D stuff because solid or textured for 2D are basically going to do the same thing. Um, because there's no point in showing that you like a gray uh, quad. And then there's the play button. Now the play will uh, basically start up the current scene. So the project view hasn't really been implemented yet, but you can imagine that uh, similar to the way Unity works, um, levels in a game or you know sections of your game will be split up into scenes. So you can design, or, or Game Maker, I, th I believe, uses rooms, I think. Um, but you'll break the whole game up into multiple scenes. So this play button will actually just play the scene that you're currently editing. So it'll, it'll run the, the executable, load in that, that scene alone, um, and you can test out the gameplay for that. Um, there will also be a way to run the game from the first scene whichever you designate to be that um, through the scene hierarchy uh, so that's my goal for that um, the resource manager is another thing I've been working on now uh, currently I'm only developing these two tabs sounds and audio I'm going to change it to audio um, but sounds will come later and it will allow you to play and view um, audio but textures 
So the way this will work is the resource manager is essentially like the hub for all the content that's attached to your game, so they're attached to this project. Um, it can exist other other places on disk, but what will happen is um, it will when you add something to your project, I'm going to copy that file from that other location on disk, move it over, and place it into um, these respective folders so that I have a uh, a easy relative location to find all the data. Um, currently, as it as it works, I have this uh, viewport here, and any uh, textures that will would be added to your um, project, you can select through them, and you'll have a preview image here um, of what it looks like. There also, I'm planning on potentially making a um, uh, image editor for basic like uh, 2D sprites um, which will have also uh, like animation controls too so you could take a, uh, a 2D sprite and animate frames or add extra frames um, so that's the textures so it really just has open and save edits pretty much empty but because you're not going to create new yet until later. Um, scripts, so the, the engine will, will work on uh, Lua scripts. So basically um, the way this works is you'll have a, uh, you'll create a new script here. You'll type in like I want a new script. Um, whoops, I forgot to uh, like cancel, create, those are backwards, but um, you will uh, create a new script it'll show up here the scripts will be attached to basically their um, their collections so similar to how um, uh, Unreal Engine I think the original Unreal Engine and some other uh, game engines you sort of have uh, uh, what's it, modules so like act any actor classes or scripts would go under sort of like an actor's module. Um, AI scripts could go under like an AI module. Um, you know, user interface scripts, if you have any of those, they'll they'll go into their own modules. And when I go to compile the game, I'll take all your modules and build specific uh, tar files for those modules, um, and then the game will look for them in, in that in those uh, it's just like an organizational thing so here is where you would actually edit the scripts so let's say pretend you actually have a script in here you'd be able to go you know I want a function say and I'll go what and then I'll print you know uh, what and and then I can say hello world now, you would be able to, once you actually have a script created, um, save it or just just compile it. Now, this I've, I've created. Currently, I don't have the interface between the actual created files and this editor yet. But if I were to build, as you can see, it will run. So this script is actually exists uh, on my drive in, um, whoops. Home and development and GT projects. There is a script called uh, here. So I should be able to. Well, whoops. So let me delete all of that. So as you can see, that's what's in that script file. Essentially, what we just wrote, and I can. You know, keep compiling it, and it'll just it'll just execute it. So that's a good way uh, to. What it'll do is it'll test your scripts. So if any er if there are any errors, what should happen is it should output. Um, well, oh no, that's not editing the file. Uh, let's edit this file quickly. Um, and let's get rid of this end. 
what should happen is if I try and compile it. Oh, it crashes. That's good. Well, blue script error and to close function. Okay. Yeah. So what uh, what I'm gonna have to do is is uh, make updates, of course, to the the actual engine. But as you can see, you know, it's it's on its way. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or want to see. Um, by the way, if, uh, I don't know if you know that. Yeah, it's being created uh, in Qt on Windows. I use Visual Studio, but um, in when on Linux, I, I just use Qt Creator because it's easier than dealing with make files myself. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know, and uh, that's it. Um, stay tuned for more.